Hello everyone and welcome to Stellaris where I hope to bring you the story of a scientific civilization and its conquest of the galaxy or what I hope to be its conquest of the galaxy if we fail well it'll be spectacular anyway now I had originally recorded an episode in Stellaris already and was all set to go I had a civilization start out but then I saw a mod and my plans changed. So let's go to new game and I'll show you what it was. I'd start out with this Heliconian Science Bureau. And then I saw this. Kerbal Space Program. Fanatic materialist xenophiles. They're weak, natural engineers, charismatic, and quick learners. And uh, we, we can edit them, I mean, we can look at the, but the, we can't really edit their appearance, otherwise I've got to change them to one of these things. Um, so that's not good. Unfortunately, for some reason, you can't, uh, can't get their appearance from this menu. You see, uh, the Kerbals don't actually appear in here. Uh, it's possible that, yeah, they're just not animated, so we can't get them like that. But Kerbal, Kerbals, Kerbal. Uh, KSP and we've got leader names whatever Kerman uh, ship names are based on the planets and planet names well those are varied and fleet names Kerbal R fleet those are their traits so uh, yeah you get to customize all these things in in Stellaris KSP I don't know if I want to how about uh, Kerbal Space Ship instead of KSP? KSS. Okay, and then so this uh, this is a Kerbal name list. So we could pick other things like Agrarian, which gives us plus 15% food, plus 15% energy credits for Thrifty. And then we could get, instead of Natural Engineers, Natural Physicists, or Sociologist, Intelligent, Extremely Adaptive. I think they're pretty adaptive. Uh, non-adaptive, rapid breeders, talented, nomadic. I don't know about this icon. Their ruler is Werner von Kerman right now. I don't know about... Well, we've got some phenotypes. That's nice. So they're not all going to look the same. Even though they're not animated. So we'll go with this. Uh, Werner is male. Okay, name and class. Well, continental world, it definitely is. Starting solar system. This looks like uh, I don't know why it's got this sort of weird naming thing, but uh, we're gonna get the Kerbal system, I think. I hope. So yeah. City appearance. City appearance. I've always thought the Kerbals were more reptilian, so I'm gonna go with reptilian city. Government and ethics that was picked for us. Uh, xenophile and fanatic materialist. I don't know. Um, I don't know if about Xenophile, actually. Yeah, I don't know about uh, Xenophile. We have no evidence that the Kerbals are actually Xenophiles. But uh, I think they're pacifists myself. So instead of Xenophile, I'm going to go with pacifist. And so we get an extra embassy, uh, but our army damage is lessened, and our war happiness is down, though we do have more food. That, that seems fair. Uh, and it is a science directorate, which means we have an extra leader capacity and more research alternatives. Okay. Empire name, Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal. Whoops, back. Uh, flag. Hmm. I've added... So there, there are some mods involved here. Some color mods, some pattern mods. Um... That, that actually looks good. I, I want more of a spaceship. It, it should evoke spaceships. That, that almost does. Oh, these are the... I, I put Star Trek icons in here. That actually evokes spaceships. And it's much simpler. I mean, I think it's really between this, which it sort of looks like an escape tower, landing pod, little things, and landing legs. But, uh, this is good, but this, this, a spaceship with some thrust below it, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Kerbals have to go green. Uh, 
Okay, that that's it. Yeah. White and then a green thing there. Yeah, that's that's the one. Projectile weapons. Missile weapons. Definitely missile weapons, right? I mean, what are they going to use? They're into rockets and such. So definitely missile weapons. Um, I'm not quite a new player. I, I've tried this once before, so hyperspace travel seems reasonable. And uh, ship appearance. Uh, Kerbal ships tend to be roundish. And I've already said they're sort of reptilian in my view. We don't have actual blocks in Kerbal. We have round pieces. I think that'll, that'll suit us fine. Okay, so... Appearance imp... Oh. You mean we can't customize it like this? Your current design contains errors that must... Appearance. Emperor, empire design, no portrait. But then we that that forces us to change that. No back. No no back. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we can't edit it because it's not giving me an option here for the Kerbal. Okay. Well, all right. Well, well missiles fine. Warp travel is a little bit easy. Can can we just change that one? I guess I'll just have to take it as is. So, uh, that needs to be fixed so that we can customize it a little bit more. But alright, uh, I'll concede that I will take what they've given me here because I really want to play Kerbals. So let's just go for it. So, galaxy size 600 stars. I'm gonna go with elliptical because I've done uh, spiral arms before. I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger. Difficulty normal. Iron Man mode on, so I can't just save and reload. We're going to have to commit to our our uh, choices. Hopefully the Kerbal Space Program thing is Iron Man compatible. It should be, it's only cosmetic changes. So difficulty, normal. Okay. I haven't played this game that much that I'm going to change the dif difficulty to anything but normal for now. Okay, so Kerbal Space Program. Uh, no flavor text here because the guy who created the Kerbals didn't uh, create any cr uh, flavor text yet. Greetings, Maybe. Director. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence developed by. The I'll I'll do the explaining. It's fine. Uh, no 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 stop stop no no tutorial. Okay, I'll try and explain everything. So anyway, so we've got Kerbal, we've got Kerbin here, and the Moon. So they've done a good job of this. The Minmus is out there. Moon. And we've got a construction ship. We've got our fleet. We've got our spaceport. And we've got our science ship. Okay. Also, Kerman is our main scientist. That is excellent. Uh, so, Eve with Gilly there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set the science ship to uh, explore, survey our home system. And it automatically plots a course through all of the bodies in order to survey it. Apparently Delta V is no longer an issue. <laughs> so anyway, science ship Ike 4. Very good. We have our scientists here, Gene Kerman, uh, Sissa Kerman, and Dorod Kerman. Gene Kerman has a spark of genius, a research speed plus 10%, so we can slot him in anywhere. I would rather have Dorod Kerman, whose expertise is Voidcraft, due to physics because this Voidcraft, you see the blue icon that matches with the physics and Voidcraft actually occurs with physics so let me uh, switch them out Dorod Kerman up there and frankly uh, Gene Kerman uh, really well I, he's, he's actually in operations more than anything else leader experience gain alright so that's sorted out and the first thing I want is Research speed plus 5%, this administrative AI. Now that's not his specialty, his specialty is Voidcraft. So, uh, but we don't have any Voidcraft choices, so we might as well go for this anyway. Um, Assist of Kerman, uh, colony ship. I definitely want to uh, make sure we can build colony ships. And Gene Kerman can focus on ion thrusters. Well, we should have that, right? 
Uh, so yeah, but it takes a long time right now because we're not generating much science. Hopefully what's going to happen is we're going to find some opportunities to build science stations in the system. Let's unpause and start things moving. Meanwhile, I can uh, send my fleet out if I want to. We, we have a lot of systems nearby. So this is the galaxy map. And so we could go to these unknown systems, potentially. But we don't have a, a, really the only ones that are within our sphere of influence. You see here are Rookbat and Fegor. Something else that we need to look for are resources, energy credits, minerals, and we can't really uh, mine for influence. That's just something we will have to get other ways, and I'll show you that later on. Uh, here it shows us strategic resources. We can directly control five colonies or planets. Uh, right now we've only got Kerbin. And our naval capacity is currently 12. We've got three ships, and they have a, a military power of 75, which is pretty weak. Uh, here we have the Empire. Uh, our governor is Kurt Kerman. <laughs> Good choice. Uh, contacts. Uh, we have not encountered any other species. This is the ship designer area. And they decided to give us the mammalian ships, I guess. Uh, Babylon 5 sort of inspired, I suppose. Um, situation. Uh oh. Situation. We have encountered some form of alien vessel in the Kerbal system. They're in our home system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens until we can learn more about them. Interesting. Okay, fellow wanderers are out about the stars. Um, so, there they are. Those are the alpha aliens. Um, so, we'll click on them and investigate them. And that sets this, this thing that we can research. So, we're researching the alpha aliens. And now, uh, Assista Kerman, instead of uh, researching the colony ship and all, uh, is now investigating the Alpha Aliens instead, which I think should be the priority. Uh, and those uh, Alpha Aliens show up as this neutral fleet here. Until we know they're hostile, they'll be yellow, and then when they're hostile, they'll be red. This is our only fleet. All of our ships, when we click on that, show up. We should hire a Admiral for our fleet. Evasion, hull points, I think, oh, uh, hold on. Habitable World Survey. We know, we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Kerbin. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life throughout the galaxy. Effort to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Okay, so we should definitely do that. Situation log updated. I think I'm gonna go with hull points. Now this this guy is good because he's young. That's very important, because uh, otherwise they'll die. But uh, yeah, let's recruit the one with the hull points as the admiral. Not really the right uniform for an admiral. We can change their name, by the way. If you want uh, Scott Kerman or someone else like that, you can add him in. Okay, so that's good. I'll probably be doing this partly as a live stream series, by the way. So. Um, yeah, if you catch me live streaming Stellaris, I'll probably be in this save since it looks like it might work out for us. I'm, I'm worried about the stability of the mod, but I think it looks alright. Okay, we've discovered beta aliens now. Um, oh, uh, our scientist has gained a level. Very good. Where are the beta aliens? Oh, they're here too. Alpha aliens. Oh, the beta aliens have some military power. Oh, we can see them. No, oh, uh, are those alpha? No, those are, those are the beta aliens. They're squid-like. The alpha aliens... Whoops. Oh, they're, they're, they've got wormhole vessels. Wow. Mm. Tough stuff. Okay, uh, speaking of our science ship... Okay, so our science ship is still proceeding. Now, we see here that minerals are available at Ike. At Bop, so let's send our construction ship to mine Bop. So we'll build a mining station there. We're going to get ore. Minmus also seems to have minerals. We should just rename them ore. 
Now, the influence is important to build frontier stations to lay claim to, like, uh, see these places that are outside of our sphere of influence. I, sh I shouldn't say sphere of, sphere of influence because in Kerbal that means something else. But uh, this area that we claim, uh, if we wanted to claim something outside of our area, those frontier stations are necessary. They're like here, a frontier outpost, and they cost 100 minerals and 200 influence, so we really need to store up on that influence to build those. But other stations and ships all cost minerals, so that's very important. Now, as a science directorate, we really want to focus on finding science here too. And so, uh, if we see that some location here will give us some science, we should definitely build one of these research stations to Special take advantage of it. Complete. Okay, communication established with Democratic Zeppa Dragon Cooperative. After successfully translating the language, we have established communication with the Democratic Zepidragon Cooperative. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Excellent. There weren't any hostilities to begin with. Oh my god, they're mushrooms. Okay, so uh, uh, built on principles of peaceful isolation in, in individual freedoms, Prime Minister Ufin Uvi Daglav the current head of the government requests that you leave us be and pursue your nefarious alien agendas far away from our territory. Well, uh, we're delight delighted to meet you. This is a momentous occasion. Okay, so uh, we have met our first aliens, which means, well, uh, well, they're right there. Wow. We really need to make sure we grab other star systems quickly before they do, huh? Yep. Anyway, we're constructing our first space station. Our science ship is almost done surveying the Kerbal system. Then we can send them out to Altair. Maybe? Well, Altair lies within the area that those guys claim, so we can't send them. I guess we'll, we'll survey Fegor and Rookbart first. Though I would want to press to locations that... Um, are close to our opposition there. I view them as our opposition right System away. Survey complete. Okay, so uh, sign ship, Fegor, survey system. So right click on the system and then send them. How's our research coming along? Slowly. Really, really slowly. So we need to find some way of increasing research. One thing we can do is go to Kerbin. Go to Kerbin. And you see the planet summary, uh, Kurt Kerman is having this effect. We can change our governor if we want to, but I think Kurt's doing a fine job. Uh, complete construction of mining station. Okay, so we've got that mining station already. Let's mine uh, Bop. Uh, wait, uh, sorry, uh, Bop is the one that we have. Uh, let's mine, it looks like Lath. Or is it Jewel? How can we mine Jewel? But anyway, let's not ask too many questions. Okay. Build a mining station around Jewel to get us those sweet energy credits. And then Lath is an ocean world, but we can't colonize that. Its habitability is 60% for Kerbals, but we need the ocean colonization technology. Anyway, we should definitely mine Minmus as well. Oh, Drez would be good. Well, once the construction ship is finished with uh, Jewel, we will send it over to Drez to uh, build a mine there. Yep. Okay, as I was saying, at Kerbin, on the surface we can see these tiles. These are surface tiles that represent our resources on our home planet. And you can see we've already got minerals being collected, for instance. We can upgrade the buildings. This one looks like uh, this guy needs something to do here. Let's build a science lab there, because we need the science. You can see we got five, six, and five. So this thing which adds an extra one of the physics science and an extra one of the engineering science will be a huge benefit. We should also clear some of these places are industrial wastelands and all. We need to clear them and that takes resources as you can see. So, but uh, I want to get our stations up and running first before we start clearing these places. But that will allow Kerbals to expand into them and increase our population. Kerbin is a very small planet, you can see only 9 tiles. There is a potential for a 25 tile planet, so that's pretty good. I mean, uh, that would be much better than Kerbin. We're actually at a disadvantage right now. And Leif seems to be the only place we can colonize, unfortunately. Uh, they didn't make uh, Duna colonizable, habitability 
That's sort of sad. Okay. That is done. Let's uh, build a mining station at Dres. Okay, meanwhile, our science ship is pretty close to being done with Fegor, I think. And it looks like we've got some possibility of energy credits there. But no science, unfortunately. No, uh, no obvious science available. There is a, System survey complete. a world that is 20% habitable, but it's arctic, so that's not great. Okay, so science ship is done there. Let's go to Rukbat. Looks like there's a possibility for this uh, Lyseria? Lyseria? Down here? That will be a good one to make an outpost at. We might want another science ship. But we don't have many minerals right now. We've got some good mineral growth. And... That construction ship is now building the mining station to get the Dres minerals. And then we'll get the Elu minerals. And the Minmus minerals. So we, we'll be pretty good for minerals. But we need those minerals to build ships. Uh, we build ships at the spaceport. The spaceport is actually hovering above Kerbin. Um... That is our spaceport, Kerbin spaceport. It has great defense. I mean, uh, take a look, 75 military power for our fleet, but 413 for the spaceport. But uh, yeah, here we would build stuff like corvettes, construction ships, science ships, and an upgrade to the spaceport. If we have unlocked that, which we have not. Science still a little bit slow. That's uh, we would have to uh, use the science to unlock the spaceport improvement, which would allow us to build bigger ships. This is a ship designer, and so we can create a new design. Right now, we can only design these three things. Eventually, we'll have a colony ship, and then destroyers and larger ships. But for instance, with the corvette, we can pick our section, striker core. Complete. Oops. Uh, Kerbin has finished a building. Okay. Uh, so uh, these have different weapon slots and utility slots. This one has a lot of utility. Uh, let's take a look at the shifter core. It only has uh, one weapon slot and we only have nuclear missiles right now. Um, but we've got all sorts of slots for armor and shields. Unfortunately we haven't researched any of those things so all we can do is put a, fi fi sorry, a fission reactor here. And so that's not really very helpful and not much different from the Corvette that we already have. Actually, the Corvette we already have is much better because it's got more armaments because it's using the Striker Core instead of the Shifter Core. Anyway, but we'll unlock, unlock more components and then we can build better ships. Just like Kerbal, actually. Just like Kerbal. Alright, so the construction ship is done with uh, Drez. Anomaly found. Okay, anomaly. Uh, hold on, let me send that ship. To oh, we don't have enough uh, minerals anyway. Uh, so, a class 12 asteroid orbits this moon, which is Rookbat 2. This small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Ooh, it's not a moon. Okay, research that. So, we're waiting for. Okay, we now we've got the minerals to build the station at Elu. Okie dokie. So I mean, the the beginning of the game is reasonably eventful, but uh, just like any other game, this is actually the slowest part because you don't have uh, you only have one world, you know, you don't have that many ships. Your naval capacity is only twelve, and so uh, we've we've only got three ships uh, in our fleet, and then the construction ship and science ship. I would like one more science ship. But that still costs a uh, hundred minerals, and so we don't have that. Now, if we had a different uh, leader, maybe we would have different possibilities, so we could recruit a different governor. And uh, that's building cost, leader lifespan, nothing, nothing obvious there. There are these edicts that you can pay for using influence. For instance, we can increase our science output by 20% for 10 years by spending 120 influence at this location, not to anywhere else. So just these will go up by 20%. But I'd rather save my influence. No distinguishing features were found on the small asteroid that had seemingly been towed into orbit around Rukbat 2A. Um, Alright, well that's unfortunate indeed. 
So Rookbat is totally, yeah, it's totally explored. Let's go on to uh, Lyseria and uh, come on, survey that system. Well, I mean, our scientist there, Alcel Kerman, has an uh, anomaly fail risk of minus 10%, so uh, she would be best at uh, investigating these anomalies. Contacts? Well, we've had this contact. Uh oh. Updated. Gamma aliens. Okay, uh, so in Lyseria. Oh, and they're hostile. Uh oh. So the ships will automatically jump away if, the, if there is hostilities. It looks like that was a hostile vessel and had a power of 452, which is way more powerful than our fleets. So that's worrisome. Uh, Alright, well, we won't be able to investigate that place. Um, let's survey this unknown system here. Yeah, and maybe we can uh, go around Lyseria to this Uriel. Okay, so evading hostile fleets. Okay, let's dismiss that. And the mining station has been built. Excellent. So now we're getting 18 minerals per month. Now during the lulls while we're waiting for resources, we can tune up the speed here. But I think we have enough resources to proceed with the next construction project. So let's see. Um, Minmus needs a mining station. So we've got a mining station at Drez, at Elu, at, uh, at Bop, at Jewel. Wait, uh, oh, we, we might not have the Jewel one. Wait, uh, that one is the Bop. This one's a Jewel, okay. This is sort of floating so high, it depends on your uh, point of view. You can rotate the camera and then it makes a little bit more sense. But when it's like this, it seems like that's closer to Bop or something. Okay, so construction ship building another mining station, and now we have to wait for resources in order to build other things, so I'll time warp a little bit. Okay, leader has gained a level, our scientist on the science ship is now skill level 3, and we could declare a rivalry with uh, Zeppa Drogon Cooperative, and that would actually give us a little bit more influence, but I don't think that's really great. Okay. Saving game. Now the situation log, we need to investigate these beta aliens and gamma aliens. Now the gamma aliens are really hostile, so let's get some research done on them. Even though, again, that does pause our colony ship research. Okay, so when we say investigate gamma aliens, that's going to pause our research uh, that is going on that we really need to have happen. But uh, since they're hostile, I think it's really important that we get to know who they are. Okay, so science ship, how is it doing in Trabon Trabano? System survey complete. It is now complete. All right. So, what other systems Research can we send complete. it to? Ah, we've also finished ion thruster research. I'll get to that in a sec. Let's let's try and survey that sector, Uril. Situation uh oh, completed. Delta aliens. Now Delta Aliens, gone. Project complete. Okay, we've discovered the Space Amoebas. Okay, quickly name Space Amoeba following an analyst gross misreading of initial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than average Kerbal Corvette. Further study is warranted. We may choose to either remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Kerbin or attempt to swiftly bring down a specimen to study and eventually commercially exploit its remains. Seems a little bit hostile, but then again, we're not pacifists thanks to the thanks to the fact that I have to go with the standard thing, and we are sort of reptilian in my view, so maybe we should pounce on them. But then again, they're really strong, aren't they? We saw 400 power, and we've only got 75. Um, let's uh, let's Situation observe them. Updated. I think that's safer. It just doesn't seem like a good option to fight them right now. They've got two systems, it seems. Uh, let's see if they're at Maris. Research Mercy? Complete. Mercy, maybe? Mercy? Okay, the research. New research time. So, for our physics, we are going to research deflectors for shielding. Engineering-wise, 
Um, Batherian Power Plant reveals this Batherian Stone resource, resource, which is a strategic resource, so, so that would be good. Defense Platform is what would be nice. But yeah, let's go with this source of power. Seems like a good idea. Dorod Kerman has leveled up. We now have lots of stuff going on in the Kerbal system. Lots of mining happening. The construction ship has finished the Minmus station. I believe. Uh, yeah, Minmus mining station. So Ike left. Now we're swimming in minerals. So that's good. Because that's what we need to build our fleet. And I want another science ship. So spaceport build system science ship. Complete. I also want another Corvette. It's, get, it's getting hot out there. Okay, so Sunship Mercy, not much there, huh? Uh, what about this Puntra Z? Okay, survey that. Okay, uh, we have another science ship now. Oh, we're, go we're going at fastest, that's why that, that built so quickly. Let's slow down. Slow it down. Okay. So, uh, you... There's no outlet... Oh, there, there is. We can try and go to this G-Class star. That's That looks good. Alright. Uh, oh, we... Oh, we require a scientist. Let's recruit a scientist for the ship. Complete. Okay. Uh, research speed... Anomaly discovery chance. That's good. Yeah, let's recruit the one that can discover anomalies. Okay. And so that one will... Command. Jemni Kerman is in command of our new science ship here, and now we can go survey that system. So without a scientist, we can't survey the system. Spaceport of Kerman has finished a construction queue. Okay, so we have a new ship. We now have four warships, and Jean Kerman has leveled up. Excellent work. I think we, we're done here with uh, construction. I think we've built all of the stations that we can in the Kerbin system. Rookbat is within our influence, but is it the best system? Let's see, Fegor has this uh, has uh, five energy credits altogether. So let's actually send a construction ship to build a mining station at Fegor 2. We really need to find more resources. This has been uh, quite impoverished so far. Ooh, uh, look, Mercy's got five of the minerals, but also three engineering science. So we can build a science station there. But it's currently outside of our influence. So what we would w want to do is actually build a frontier outpost, one of these guys first, so that we can claim that. Okay, a Puntra Z seems to be done. Okay, survey that system. We really have a shortage of habitable worlds. We'll have to do some science to unlock the ability to to colonize other worlds. At least our colony ship, we're almost done. We really need to find somewhere to ascend it, though. Situation log updated. We've got Epsilon aliens now. Interesting. Are they going to shoot at us? Fleet detected. Uh, oh, Space Amoeba. We've found some Space Amoeba. Research complete. Okay, New Worlds Protocol. Let's go over there. And, uh, well, we can increase our lifespans. That's nice. Frontier Clinic is important because it increases habitability. Border Range. You know what? I want to increase our borders, but that's going to take a long time. Wow, such choices. Well, we can do that pretty quickly. We can unlock the Frontier Clinic pretty quickly. Those cost a lot, though. Yeah, let, let me expand our borders. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm more interested in expanding borders without a fight kind of thing. And we've, we've got those guys right as neighbors like that there, so... Why doesn't Jemni Kerman survey that system? Come on. Hostile fleet detected. Okay, she's at it. Evading hostile fleet. Our construction ship is not... Oh, our construction ship was what was evading the hostile aliens. In Fegor? Jeez. These space amoeba are horrible.
Alright, uh, well, uh, fine. Uh, go to Rookbad and build a mining station there. Hopefully they're not there. We need more military, I guess. Those Epsilon aliens are sort of like stalking us. That's an arid world. We can't colonize that either. Now, I could build a colony ship right now, but I don't have anywhere to send it to. Even Lathe isn't uh, colonizable. We need ocean colonization, which I don't know what technology we'll need for that. Haven't seen that Evading yet. Hostile fleet. Oh, not again. Delta aliens. We don't know much about them. We need to research them. Uh, Delta aliens. Research. We need to research the beta aliens. The Epsilon aliens. But anyway, the Delta aliens were hostile, so we need to research them first. Okay, so no luck doing research there. How about this one? Survey that system. As soon as I find something that is habitable, I can send a colony ship to it and lay claim. But right now, we can't do anything. That's ocean. That's arid. You look at all the System red exclamation marks with all the bad guys. And we're a weak civilization, darn it. Well, let's build more warships. What can we do? On the bright side, we have good inflow of minerals. On the downside, ship maintenance costs energy credits, and you can see we're not really getting a lot of those in. If we click here on the government tab, we see our our brave leader, uh, the the election date. So we've got a long time before elections, 35 years, uh, and our budget, and the breakdown, and economic effects, and policies, edicts that we could have if we want to spend influence. Slavery is prohibited, war economy is static, purges are not possible, uh, orbital bombardment limited, free migration, resettlement prohibited. We might want to allow that, but we don't have anywhere to send them anyway. Voting rights is elitism, and leadership primary species only, well, we only have one species, and first contact protocol is peaceful. Okay, genome survey is complete. Where is that? Wow, way over here. Lesson uh, was hostile. Okay, well, I don't know where else to go. Can we go here? Survey that one. Oh, uh, no, you can survey that one first then. Faranus black hole. Well, that's got to be something that would uh, be interesting for science, right? Hopefully. Well, let's finish off with this one first. There is some science opportunity there. My construction ship is done at Rookbart. Rookbat. Um, let's see if Fegor is safe now. I want to build a mining station. Well, I just want to build one mining station for now at Fegor too. Special project is complete, so we've handled the Delta aliens. Okay, reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. Their purpose is obviously enough, mining, but who it is that tasks them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipment of minerals has been retrieved from the system in hundreds if not thousands of years. They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Kerbal Space Program. Indeed. Um, let's see what they're made of, take them apart. Well, I haven't seen them be... Yeah, I mean, well, drones. But yeah, that seems like an engineering thing to do. Situation log updated. They're not peoples, after all. Fleet detected. Right? Epsilon aliens? Well, let's research them. Well, our first fleet is a little bit bigger now. Maybe it can handle something like that, but it needs a leader. Uh, Admiral Danlock Kerman. Sounds good. We'll send him over here to Fegor. 
Just in case somebody shows up and tries to scare away our construction ship, then we can defend it. Potentially. We can get a good look at our construction ship. Approaching figure two. Okay, well, it's saving the game. Alright, I'm gonna pause here. And uh, we will proceed in this. I'm going to be doing probably the next bit as a live stream. I'll obviously record the live stream and post it as the next episode. So, but if you see me watching Stellaris on Twitch, you can catch this live. I'll just continue this one. And then uh, I will also be doing parts of it as just straight up YouTube videos. So, I'll do a mix of things. Alright, so on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.